Hello, I'm Leanne from Spectrum Noir, Patrick's Companion, and in this little clip, we're going to look at how to colour skin. And if you've already watched the hair colouring tutorial that we've got for the accreditation test, you will have seen me colour this lovely little Angelica girl with her beautiful straight and curly hair. Just building from that, we wanted to give her a face, so we're going to have a look at very basic skin colouring. And this is very basic just for you to be able to prove that you can use that technique and to pass your accreditation test for accredited colourist. For much more in-depth tutorials on skin colouring, do check out the Spectrum Noir DVD because we cover it in far more depth. So the pens I'm using for this little demonstration are TN2, FS9, FS2 and CR3. So the tans, the flesh tones and the coral tones. Okay, so I've got my little girl and this is the one that we coloured in the hair tutorial and we're just going to give her a little face to be proud of now. So the first pen I'm going to use is the lightest and that is my FS2. And I'm just going to colour all the base of her face with FS2, um, aiming to get that lovely even saturation of colour that we've looked at through all of the other little YouTubes for the accreditation uh, colourist process and you want to really get a, a good wetness of ink on there because that's how you will get a much better blend. So we're just getting a lovely base down there and that's with FS2. And then we're going to take the darkest and we're taking TN2, yes TN2, and we're going to put in shade and shadow where her hair um, will be casting a shadow on the face so where it will be darker underneath the hairline and also underneath her neck because her neck would be darker because it's underneath her face. So I'm just going to pop that in around the hairline and we don't come out too far into the face with this because it is really just a suggestion of shadow underneath the hairline that we're popping in there. Okay. And then we're going to take FS9 and we're going to blend. Oh. Let me just clean that. I was doing some techniques with that earlier and I obviously haven't cleaned that off. So there we go. So we've got FS9 and I'm just going to blend FS9. Uh, sorry, the TN2 into the first layer of FS2 with my FS9 here. So I'm bringing that out a little bit further into the face but making sure I have got still a lighter area so that I can have that at the forefront and much lighter. That pen's just been refilled and I hadn't given it enough time to equalise. Uh, so just be cautious of that when you refill your pens. And then I've got FS2 now and I'm going to blend the FS9 back into the first layer of FS2 with the FS2 pen. So again, I'm coming up to the edge, not going right back over all the colouring, just to the edge of it to kind of smooth that edge into the first layer, which is what we've managed to do there. There we go. And then we're going to give her a little cheek. And to give her a little cheek, I'm going to use CR3. And her little cheek will go in a triangle. So it'll go back up to the hairline. I'm just going to create her little cheekbones there and you see all I'm doing is using a dotting motion ever decreasing circles into the centre to bring out a nice little plump cheek line and then to soften that because we don't want her to look like Aunt Sally we would use the FS9 again just to soften it in the hairline here and make it look more like a natural cheek colour and then we would do exactly the same with FS2 into the lighter areas. And that will blend that round and just give her a lovely little rosy glow to her cheek and smooth that line out. And that's basic skin colouring, but basically how quick you can achieve some really pretty skin colouring as well. Um, and you'll be able to extend on that and practice lots more. But that's the basics that we'd like to see as part of your accredited colourist test. Mm -hmm.